But I was like really close. Do I wanna start? Wait, we don't even know what we're talking about. <laughs> What are you doing tomorrow? School. Alfie? Hmm? How long has that been there? What? Hello, and welcome to CFS Overtime, the podcast where we like to talk about school, news, and student life. I'm your host, Chris. And I'm your host, Alfie. We're here. We're here. Wow. Yeah. Where have we gone? What's happened? You don't want to know that. <laughs> Alright, we're here now though, we're back. Yeah. Listen, um, we have news, uh, we've compiled, we have reviews, um, we're happy to bring content for the... You guys, um, so... <laughs> let's get into it. I yeah. guess. Uh, let's start off with the news. We're all doing A-levels, we're all doing... We've all done GCSEs in a way. We have. So this is very important for us. Mm-hmm. The uh, obviously we know that the last two A levels and GCSEs were cancelled. Yes. Due to um, flying. Pizzas. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. What, I was trying to think of something funny. Flying but pizzas. <laughs> due to no, don't say that. <laughs> Might come true. Due to COVID, obviously. <laughs> um, but so this year it's due to carry on. Mm. Uh, but that's something that's different. Okay, we've got, is that the, there is a, they're trying to be more flexible with the revision and the exams themselves. Okay. So that it's said, they are said to um, basically tell you what's going to be on the exam Mm -hmm. in about, I think it's February. They're going to tell you what's going to be on the exam. So it helps you revise easier, helps you, helps the teachers uh, basically focus on what the lessons will be. If you're doing something like maths, they're going to give you some of the formulas make it easier for you to learn and if you're doing history i'm doing history you're doing history oh, yes, i'm not right. doing history well, no are you not doing geography or english no oh, okay history geography english stuff like that there will be uh just the core topics for you to learn so that's quite good yeah so Pretty you're going to be assessed on a particular topic so for example i don't know because i don't do history the gilded age yeah they're going to tell you what it is, but not just like one topic, obviously, it's gonna be multiple. Yeah, they're just gonna cut it down, which seems like good news. Um, right, it's good news for us because we're gonna, we're, um, I think this is made. We've already talked to teachers about this. Yes, they, they said it was already made for no, this was initially made for mm. schools who have patches in their, in their learning. Now, luckily for us, this school has we've been able to cover all the, all the we parts have, yeah. of the course. So um, this is going to put us at an advantage, uh, but this got me thinking, um, like right now, mm-hmm. we also have coursework for history. I don't know, like That's, coursework. Yeah, I, I believe coursework is still in. Yeah, because that boosts uh, our grade up. Yeah, a lot. So with this as well, like, I think coursework is definitely con- going going to continue. Yeah, yeah. Because we use it for media as well. Yeah, it's just a matter of like grade boundaries and how they're gonna if they're Yeah, gonna... also obviously how how grade boundaries have always worked. Mm. It'd be the top like three percent being A stars. Yeah. yeah. So if basically oh, yeah. the top three percent is still like quite low, then mm. it's just gonna make sense. Fair enough. So it's it it's pretty good. It's interesting. It's interesting. It is. Take it how you are. You know. It's our future, ladies and gentlemen. That's scary. It is. I don't want to hear that. It's reality. It's reality. Go, go, go. Oh, oh, no, Let's talk about a domestic event, and when I mean domestic, I mean school. We had a Macmillan coffee morning. Mm. Very interesting. Um, Alfie and I were there. Mm-hmm. Uh, we got a lot of footage. In fact, we had an interview from two people, two very handsome looking people. Well, one of them especially. Oh. The other one, I'm not so sure about. Which you're gonna play right now. Go on, how are you, are you enjoying it? I'm really enjoying this podcast. What delicious cakes, what do you think wow, of this? Wow, I love what they're doing with this. It's like really. So, what do you think of this, Chris? I think it's really cool. So, yeah, uh, that was fun. Uh, we've got a lot of pictures as well. That's me pointing at a picture. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not gonna put it up there. <laughs> you know, this is my choice. This is my choice. But no, we took pictures. Uh, great seeing the year 2013 coming together. 
baking and selling, mm -hmm. buying. The cakes look lovely. Yes. Uh, delicious. Um, Scrumdily, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Yeah, but. It was fun. It was. It was good to see um, us raise money for charity. I didn't. I forgot how much it was. Like in the 400 area, which is good. Very great. Impressive. In fact, yeah. Uh, yeah. Great. Thank you for everyone that participated. Thank you for everyone that participated in baking. I know I didn't, but thank you for for participating. They were delicious. Yes, Chris. There we go. I have a question, Alfie. Alfie, I have Wait. a question. Alfie, I have a question for you. What? How are your studies? My studies? Good? Like at home, when you're working, getting work done? Uh, they're pretty good. Well, are you listening to good music? Do you know I am, I think. Well, that leads on to our next uh, segment. Chris and Alfie's Review Zone, I think it was. That's what I said. Do you want to change it to Review Corner? That sounds fun. Review Corner? We could, we could. That's what Drop in the comments what you want. This segment to be review called. zone or review corner. I prefer zone. Yeah, but corners are cool. Corner. Are we we know this. But yeah, we got um, Donda, Donda. was released. Highly anticipated mm. Kanye West album. Yes. Um, and we're gonna tie it in. Can you study to it? And are the songs good? Yeah. So a little backstory on Donda. It was set to release July of 2020. When he released it with the he released a tweet with the album cover saying on the July whatever the date was I think it was twenty first, um, but it didn't. Nope. A year later in September. Yep. It came out. Yep. A surprise drop, not the same release. Um, also it said he didn't drop it. It was actually his label that did it for him, and he didn't and he did it without his consent. So, Chris, mm. what were your thoughts? I love this album. Mm -hmm. um, I still listen to it consistently. Um, not just one or two songs, most of the songs. Mm -hmm. um, uh, but yeah, uh, every song I think was good, solid. Um, you know, good. Re you know, re-listen value is uh, pretty high. I rate it five pieces of butter out of five. Why did you say butter, Chris? <laughs> oh <my> God. <laughs> <laughs> well. I like butter. So, what was your, what would be your like, one of your favourites or least favourites if you have any? Favourite, off the grid, gets you hyped. Heaven and Hell is a close second. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, I think it helps me focus as well when I'm doing work. Uh, yeah, I think yep, yeah, I think Heaven and Hell and off the grid. Yeah. Um, believe what I say is okay. Um. Still very good, but like one of the like the less good ones. Yeah. Um, if that's what you'd say. Uh, junior, really good. Yeah. Um, and yeah, that's, that's pretty much what I've got to say about it. I would study um, and listen to this. Mm. So what I've got to say about it, it's a little different to what you think of it, which is obviously okay because opinions are opinions. They, they, they differ. Yes. I know you get angry when I don't get angry. Happy. I like the album. Yeah. I did. Mm. I thought though there were some songs that seemed irrelevant and just not good mm. to throughout the whole album some of my least favorites would be junior i know you said you like that one i, like, but I, I already didn't like it it's catchy it is i guess you can put it you know what yeah uh, i thought some of them were just just kind of boring yeah. praise god god uh, god breathe yeah so well, i said I liked it. What are you staring for? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. It's scary. I was daydreaming. Um, so God breathed. Uh, probably one of my least favorites. Uh, Jail. Okay. Okay. Junior. Jonah. Kind of these. I, I just felt them to be not irrelevant to the album. Just a bit plain. A bit yeah. boring. Nothing too. Uh, pushing the pushing the boundaries like Kanye is known for. Like especially during his early ages, he was known for pushing the boundaries. My my definite. Lee's favourite is Tell the Vision. Is that? With uh, Pop Smoke. Pop Smoke. Yeah. So yeah, it takes the, from his Pop Smoke's latest album, Tell the Vision, takes his vo vocals from that, puts it on this very simple piano, few note hits. Uh, all in all, I just found it to be kind of hard to listen to. With Pop Smoke's 
uh, vocals being very uh, distorted from where they've taken it from the sample. Mm -hmm. Not distorted in a uh, not distorted, but um, very compressed. Yeah, sounding. So I didn't like television, but there were some really good songs on here. Some mm -hmm. really great songs. Off the grid, like you said. Off the grid, yeah. Great. Hurricane, one of his infamously leaked tracks. Yeah. From like 2014, 15. Yeah. Is finally released and it has the weekend on vocals and it's crazy. Brilliant. Uh believe what I say. I love that. He yeah. released a snippet of that like a year ago and it has a Lauren Hill sample, which you can't go wrong with Lauren Hill. Especially that sample. And it's it's really good. It doesn't quite fit in the theme of the album it's very light-hearted when the rest of it's quite dark and uh trap uh trap based where this one's quite light-hearted and uh you know with the vote with the the vocals of lauren hill in the background but it's still a great song nonetheless heaven and hell brilliant that beat drop in the middle the beat drop so good heaven <laughs> yeah oh my god moon moon that vocals. was yeah M uh, Pure Souls. Yeah. That was really good. I think it's Roddy Rich on the vocals, on yeah, this chorus. Roddy. Great. Um, I, get, I, th I think another one of my least favourites is Remote Control. I think that's, for one of the songs, that's definitely the bottom tier. Definitely the bottom. Mm. Remote Control. Didn't like the chorus. And I didn't like the weird uh, Glob Go Glob Glob at the end. Oh yeah, that was a bit odd, to be fair. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but, I'd give it three and a half I guess butter, but pieces of butter, pieces of three and a half pieces of butter out of five. What did you give it again? Five, five pieces of butter. Wow, melted pieces of butter. Uh, so the next album, which I listened to, I don't think Chris you did, but the next album is "Sometimes I Might Be Introvert" by Little Sims. Now the title itself is the you know the it's an ac it's I guess it's a what's the word not an acronym. Yeah, an acronym for Simbi, which is her name. Sometimes I might be introvert, obviously Simbi. Uh, now, this album, definitely one of my favourite albums of the year. It touches on her relationship with her father at points. It touches on how women can be icons, in, especially in the song Women. And uh, so, yeah, you've got Rolling Stone, which is a very bare bones song about her father being uh, basically not there for her at hard times. It's quite an emotional song at points. Uh, introvert, the uh, intro is great. One of my favorites is Standing Ovation with this uh, very orchestral sound behind it. So I recommend that to you, Chris, and everyone watching. No, Alfie, can I ask you a question? No. Alfie, can I ask you a question? <laughs> yes. So, when you finish your homework, yeah. your studying, your studying, revision, studying, revision, what is something you really like to do? I like to revise even more. And then after... That's what you should be doing. <laughs> after, you know, going out with friends, doing things like... What do you... What do you like doing? Spend my time recording and ed editing CFSO so over time for... For you, Chris. For you. I don't do it for anyone else. I do it for you. Is it like I'm joking? Better answer this question correctly. Because what I would be... Oh, it's one of the last ever episodes you'll be in. Understand? Yes. Okay. Ah, so, <laughs> what do you like doing? I like to watch films. So, I, I love to watch films. In fact, I... <laughs> <laughs> so do I. Speaking of films... Not as much as me, Chris. Not as much as me. Okay. Speaking of films, <laughs> a lot of films has happened over summer and where we've been gone and we've watched a couple of them together um, and we're going to review. So, we're going to start from worst to best and there is a worst to best, it's just how worst and how best it is. Yeah. So, worst. But, in my opinion, it had some good things to we it. We did Free Guy. Yeah. Free Guy. <laughs> just a free, free fantasy. So, yeah. Baby. I... Free Guy. I, um... To be frank, I didn't like this film. Nope, you don't like it. I didn't like it. Um, I thought it was, well, to put it in a colloquial term, cringe. It was kind of cringe, let's be honest. Mm -hmm. I, I hated the way that, like, 
they put like every like game film like Ready Player One, yeah. uh, Wreck It Ralph, yeah. especially Wreck It Ralph Two. First one was good. First one was okay. Yeah. Wasn't that good? Okay. But especially Wreck It Ralph Two, mm. they 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 show people on the internet, people that play games as like these people that are, like use the word pwn and noob. I use pwn and noob. <laughs> Do you though? No. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. And I just in this film especially, it's all about like hackers and like it just doesn't it doesn't it, like it's trying to represent the gaming world but does it in such a poor way and and feels so detached from what it actually is which makes me feel like the the film is like just made by some like random old guy off the yeah. street that has a son that has a grandson that, that plays games yeah i just it feels so detached to what it is in real life um, but don't get me wrong, there are some good CGI, pretty yeah. funny gags here here and there. Yeah. But I already have not much to say about it. I'll give it... You know what? I'm gonna give it one and a half... Uh, I'm gonna give it one and a half Ryan Reynolds out of five. Listen, I didn't... I wasn't that much of a fan of it either. Mm-hmm. Um, but... I like how they brought gaming to the mainstream. That's all I'm going to say about it. Um, yeah. So, in that case, I'm going to rate it two revision books. Why are you doing it so randomly? Because it's two revision books that I will study before watching a movie. <laughs> Out of five. Okay. So we're pretty close. On to the next film. Um... Shang-Chi. Shang-Chi. And The Legend of the Ten Rings, I believe it's called. Just call it Shang-Chi. Yeah. I'm going to start off with this. Please do. We, uh, Alfie and I watched it in what we like to call... Well, no, no. We watched they it, liked it. <laughs> we watched it in uh, 4DX. Yeah. Very good. So, if you don't know what it is, 3D glasses. <laughs> your chairs move, there's water, there's wind, there's, like, things that poke your back. But it's all in time with the film. Kind of like a simulator of some kind. Yeah. Um, Try to immerse you more. Uh, plus the experience, I thought it was a very good film. Mm-hmm. Um, I like the plot. I like the uh, animation. The CGI. Cinematography as well. I like the lore, Marvel films. Um, and I'm going to rate it. Three dragons out of five. Three dragons out of five. So, I think I've got a similar view on you. I thought it was a pretty good film. It it uses that, you know, that basic Marvel formula that I'm a little tired of, personally. Of. I don't know if what you if you're tired of it. Yeah. I'm tired of the Marvel formula. Yeah. But I like it's a little more creative than the others. Mm-hmm. It has quite Really, you know, quite interesting shots on its fight scenes, the slow motion that it would use, um, and I also like the the mystical elements to it in the uh, third act. I'd give it uh, three dragons that are better than Chris's out of ten, out of five. Three what? three dragons out of five. Why don't we say rings? I mean, it's Legend of the Ten oh, yeah. Rings. Three oh, rings <laughs> out of five. Yes. Um, I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna edit rings on you. I'm not that good. Jeez. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> Wink and the awesome CGI and animation. <laughs> um, the last film. The last film. One of my favorite films of all time. Really? Parasite's still my favorite. But yeah, hero films. Um, oh yeah. A lot of people had died. That Suicide Squad. No, the Suicide Squad. The Suicide Squad. I thought it was an amazing film. Uh, I'm gonna get in the ra- rating already. Four and a half um, s- starfish out of five. I'm not gonna spoil anything. Um, four and a half starfish um, out of five. Mm-hmm. I just like the whole film. Just the cinematography was brilliant. I thought it was genius. Mm-hmm. Uh, I like the characters. I like the action. Um, I like the actors in it. I like the writing. Uh, yeah, overall, I just thought it was a brilliant film. One of my favourite hero films um, of all time. It, it could argue, I can't argue that it is my favourite hero film. 
what, what, that's a big step. But what yeah. hero films are there that I really like? Dark Knight is what most people say. Dark Knight, yeah, but... No, I think so. But that's it. No, yeah, probably... Mm, I don't know. Yeah. Listen, it's still it's up there. It's definitely up there. Um, and uh, it's, just, it's just fun, you know? You finish revising... And then you can go to cinema, which is a fun film like this is like. Yeah. Now, Chris. Yes. I thought The Suicide Squad was a good film. How dare you? <laughs> <laughs> it was a good film. Uh, I still think it's kind of based too heavily off of the uh, the basic superhero formula, like I mentioned. Mm-hmm. Uh, you're, you're angry. You're an angry man. Um, but I, I liked... The transitions or the some of the cinematography, especially there's a fight scene in the yeah. reflection of the mirror. I thought that was kind of cool. In the helmet. In the helmet, sorry. There was a there was a fight scene in the reflection of a helmet. Um, I thought the um, uh, kind of what like the transitions into different times was kind of interesting. But I found it a bit too messy as a plot. I didn't feel like it kind of fit perfectly into with one another. Um, I thought, again, the villain were kind of boring, to be honest. I thought the jokes were okay. I thought the the the, actor, the acting, the performances were okay. The, the best thing I have to say about it is definitely cinematography. I'm going to give it three angry faces out of five. Uh, before we get into the TV show review, um, red light. Green light. So... Uh, Squid Game, if you're not aware, um, probably one of the most popular series. It's very popular right now, uh, and I, I still haven't seen it. Well, I watched <laughs> it while I was studying, um, and very good, very good. Recency bias, very good. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm dressing up as one of the contestants for Halloween. That's kind of cool. Uh, in, uh, in Squid Game, um, yeah, I like how um, it was uh, it was foreign as well. Yeah, uh, I think we need to, we need to. Um, like South Korean films in general are very good and they don't get enough uh, recognition. Yeah, of course, you got um, Parasite, which won Oscar Parasite two years ago now. Yeah, Parasite is my favorite film. It's South Korean, and this one is well Korean. Yeah. Um, and I also watched another series, but that's not that doesn't matter right now. Yeah. Um, but yeah, very good. Uh, and I'll give it. See, I could give it's it. always hard to think of what you're going to rate it out of. Like, you know what you're going to rate yeah. it. No, I know what you're going to rate it out of. What? Four and a half squids out of five. Oh, squids, that's pretty easy. Or I could say marbles, but... Marbles? Too soon. You need to watch it. Um, But yeah, it's a great game. Make sure to do your homework, and then you can watch it. Yeah. So that's it for the for the episode. Um, We hope you enjoyed. Um, It's been a good episode. Yeah, it it's has. good to be back. Uh, we'll keep you updated. Um, let us know if you want us to talk about anything. Um, we have a lot. Of, we have we have something lined up as well. Um, some stuff lined up. We do some um, special interviews, yeah. special episodes, events, um, e- episodes, all every. Um, where is my family? They are <laughs> not. Nah. We are now year 13. Really joking at a time like this. <laughs> 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 <laughs>